What's up guys, it's Tariqa Tomobe from Strict Fit, here with another video to help you start calisthenics. If you've been trying to start calisthenics but you're not exactly sure how, this is the perfect video for any beginner that wants to get started. We're gonna focus heavily on solidifying the basics, making sure that we have a whole solid foundation built before we progress to the other skills and possibly injure ourselves from progressing too fast. If you guys are ready for this video, go ahead and smash the like button. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. What's one thing we know for sure about calisthenics? Calisthenics is all about mastering the push, the pull, the core, compression and anti-extension, and the squat. And we take those even further. So what should we be doing if we're just starting out and we can only do push-ups, pull-ups, dips, or squats, and basic planks? I'm about to show you right now. The first exercise we're gonna talk about is the pseudo planche lean. As you can see, I've turned my hand slightly outwards to alleviate any list, uh, wrist pain, and I'm going to lean forward and do the same principles as a regular plank. So that means I'm tightening my core, I'm applying full body tension to all the working muscles, I'm squeezing my thighs together, and I'm leaning forward. And you can see that I have my arms completely extended, and on top of that, I have a little bit of a lean and protraction of my scapula which basically means I'm pushing my shoulder blades away from me versus keeping them together. This is already classified as a pseudo planche lean, but the further you lean, the more intense and dramatic the exercise gets. You're gonna do that for at least 10 to 15 seconds when you're first starting out. And as you progress, you wanna eventually get it to a nice solid 30 second hold. And you'd want ideally for your hips to be over your hands. That's the goal here. Now, like I said before, if you're just a basic beginner right now, then what you need to do is you need to do planks. Like so, no lean, hands are facing completely away from me and forward in this uh, motion right here. There's no lean at all, but I'm still squeezing my core and pushing out as much as I can. And if this is too dramatic for you, drop down, perfectly fine. That one's kind of the introduction to uh, calisthenics core and uh, introduction into your planche training. The next thing I want to say for all of you that can do push-ups, you can do at least 10 push-ups, 8 to 12 push-ups, then I'd say you need to start doing these. As I see before, I have that lean, like I'm in my pseudo planche lean, and on top of that, I'm going to drop down into a push-up and skyrocket back up. And on top of that, I maintain the forward lean throughout the entire movement. So you see that there? That's called a pseudo planche push-up. Eight to 12 reps. Difficult for you, you just wanna focus on doing regular push-ups like before until we build enough strength, especially in that front delt to where we'll be able to do those uh, pseudo planche push-ups. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to focus on your pistol squat journey. And what I mean by that is I mean the one leg, single leg squat right here where you fall into it and you have your weight distribution you got this opposite leg right here fully extended point of the toes this one heels on the ground foot completely on the ground and you can see i'm distributing my weight boom as i go back to the top very simple but hard to do so what you're going to do before we get to that level we're going to do something called assisted pistol squat holds where you're just going to hold the wall or a block or anything next to you and you're gonna use that for the hardest part of the movement. Boom. See that? Eight to 12 reps. Ugh. And again, guys, if you're not at that level yet, you feel like you can't hit that yet, I want you to do something called lunges. Boom. It's working the same muscles, and this is a unilateral exercise variation where you're focusing only on stimulating one leg at the moment. This is a great regression for that. For the third exercise that I want you to try out for starting calisthenics is going to be the L-sit. Now, before we get into the L-sit, I wanna talk a little bit about barrier to entry. Barrier to entry in calisthenics means, basically, if you have enough strength to do a skill or not. Some people will have enough strength to do certain skills in calisthenics based off their previous fitness background, gymnastics background, whatever, but other people will struggle for months, sometimes even years on skills because they are building it from the ground up. So when it comes to the L-sit, it's really important that we do something called core compression. 
I have a video on this on my page. But as we sit our legs out in front of us, we gotta make sure we have our hands first off under our thighs, the top of our thighs. We're pushing out with locked arms. And as we push out, we want our hips to levitate back. And as we have our hips levitate back, our feet will naturally come off the ground and we squeeze and point everything. I know I made that look very simple, but trust me, it's a lot harder than you think. But the thing is, if you have a previous background in fitness or weightlifting especially, sometimes you'll have a strong enough core to do a skill like that. Although it will be challenging still, and you probably will struggle, you'll find an easier time unlocking that than somebody who has no fitness background, just starting from calisthenics and uh, going from the ground up there. So when it comes to the L-sit, I want you guys to try holding it for at least 10 to 12 seconds. Boom. And if you can't get there yet, it's probably gonna be a hip mobility issue or a core compression issue. So what you can do is you can sit on the ground like I am right now, placing your hands at about knee, knee length, and then point your toes, compress your core, and lift your feet up. These are called compact leg lifts, a great regression for the L-sit exercise and for building strength for it. You wanna do this at least eight to 12 times. Last beginner skill that I wanna focus on when we're doing calisthenics is gonna be the sissy squat. I wanna make sure you guys have enough leg exercises to choose from, and this one is something that we can work on simultaneously with the pistol squat. It does require a bit of hip mobility and core anti-extension strength. So the way we're gonna do this is essentially, we're gonna be on our toes, okay? And as we're on our toes, we're gonna to make sure we flex our glutes, and we're gonna lean back, flexing our core as well. I'm gonna hold onto the wall as a regression. And as I'm doing this, my knees are gonna fall well above over my toes. Right here, it's a good height, and then boom, back to the top right there. Boom. This does a great job at strengthening your quads and strengthening the muscles around your knees, which could lead to better knee performance and knee health in the future. Again, hold a wall, block, or bar, whatever's close to you that you can help you through the latter half of the movement, just like what we did with the pistol squat. Boom. 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 Last beginner calisthenics skill I want you guys to focus on is gonna be the frog stand. I know that if you are looking to do any kind of calisthenics and you're serious about it, then you're gonna to wanna to focus on getting that handstand and mastering that. But before we get that, we have to learn about hand balancing. And that's where the frog stand comes in. The frog stand is also good for mastering the L-sit and mastering the planche lean. All the muscles kind of translate the same and it's gonna increase your pushing strength tenfold. So what we're doing here is we have a good base. We're about shoulder length with our hands, placing them down. And you can see I'm using the balance points on my fingers. I've talked about this a few times, especially in my handstand training video. There's three balance points on your hand, and that's gonna be your fingertips, the palms, of course, and then your knuckles. Right here, where my calluses are, that's what I mean by the inside of your knuckle, right there. You're gonna place all three of those points on the ground at the same time, to get more of a balance point. And if you lean too far forward, you push in with your fingers. Leaning too far back, you push in with your palms to return back to neutral with all three balance points on the ground, okay? So again, I have my hands shoulder length here and I'm placing my knees on the top of my elbows right here. They're kind of resting on top right there. You can do it that way, that's the advanced frog stand, or you can put your elbows in between your thighs like you're about to stretch your groin. Either one's fine but I'm choosing this one on top. Then I'm leaning forward. Don't be scared. If you're too scared, then you can place a pillow on the ground in front of you. So if you fall forward, at least you won't smash your face on the ground. But yes, this is the frog stand essentially. As you can see, I have a lot of control in it because I've been doing this for a while. Last thing I wanna say guys, calisthenics is not a 30 day, 60 day, 90 day journey. What's gonna happen is if you're just starting out, you're gonna experience progress rapidly fast. And that's what's gonna be addicting. But you have to remember, 
Those harder skills are gonna take time, sometimes months, even years to perfect. But guys, if you really wanted to do those cool looking skills, awesome strength building skills and build the superhuman strength, would you really want it to be easy? Because if it was easy, everyone would be able to do it. But since no one can do it, not everybody can do it, that's what gives it substance, that's what gives it value. So continue on with your consistency and your journey. Use my videos and use my tips to help you succeed in your goals. I hope you guys appreciated this video. I know I did. I know I had a lot of fun. I'm going to continue making more content like this. If you enjoyed this video or you have suggestions for our next video, please leave a like, leave a comment below, and let me know what I can improve on or what you want to see next. Thank you guys. I hope you appreciate it. And I would love to see you guys next time. Strict form only.